Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease. This is the first video appearance of myself on this channel. I am the content curator of this channel. My name is Varsha and I work as a mid senior software engineer at a product based company in Bangalore. So the objective of today's session is I do have an announcement to make. And secondly, I also want to talk about the future roadmap of this channel, uh, like the long term goals and whatever the vision we have for this channel. So the announcement that I have for today is uh, we are soon going to launch a primer series on sorting and searching algorithms. When I talk of sorting algorithms, I mean we are going to cover everything right from bubble sort and social sort, merge sort, quick sort and cyclic sort and all of that. And when I talk of searching algorithms, I mean apart from linear search, we are also going to do the most popular and my own personal favorite algorithm that is binary search. Although binary search is an algorithm which is easily understood because of a lot of resources that is available over the internet, we would like to specifically focus on the questions related to binary search, the tricky questions related to binary search, the interview questions on that, the real world applications of that uh, algorithm and things like that. So these are the things that I've planned for this entire primer series on searching and sorting algorithm. I think not just for an interview i think this is something which every engineer every developer every software engineer must be knowing this is a very essential uh these are very essential algorithms to run the the sorting algorithm as well as the searching algorithm so these are something like the essentials uh which every software developer should be knowing and in the same context is my future roadmap of the channel also which i just said so before we move further to that here's a brief introduction on the channel so here it goes Hi, here's a brief introduction for the ones who are new to the channel. The objective of Code with Ease is to make problem solving in programming simpler. If you are someone who wants to become a great developer and wants to level up their skills, data structures and algorithms is indispensable and you need to form a solid foundation of that. And this is exactly where we come in. Because we post topic-wise video explanations in Java on various coding interview questions that can not only help to crack the coding interview, but also help to improve and refine the problem-solving abilities as a developer. And finally, here is the USP of our channel. We code every solution live, we do not copy-paste code snippets. We start off by clearly defining the problem statement, the given inputs, the required output, time and space complexities. We also then discuss the brute force way of solving any question without jumping on to the solution and then gradually move on to the optimal solution. We try to use online whiteboarding wherever applicable to explain the approach and the concepts. So that is all about us. So if you guys also want to be a part of this journey, do support us by subscribing to the channel. Okay, so back to the second item that we have, that is the future roadmap. Why I thought this is important because we have shot over 30 videos and put out uh, over 30 videos on this channel. And I thought now it is a good time to talk about whatever is the long term goal of this channel, what we are planning to do further, where, to, where we are heading towards and things like that. So in the context of that, I think uh, those of you who are following this channel for quite some time might be of the opinion that, okay, the questions that we are doing, the videos that we have put out are mostly interview centric. Um, I just wanted to break away from that and uh, wanted to share some more insights. That is the reason I wanted to share the future roadmap. I understand the questions mostly look like they're interview centric because I usually mention this as being asked in this and this company and um, whatever the company tags are and all of that. But I just wanted uh, all of you to understand, my audience to understand that these questions should not only be done by, by people who are interview aspirants who want to get into a big tech company, uh, crack the FANG interview, MANG interview and all of that. It should not be something like that. Everybody, every software engineer should try to approach these questions with the with the perspective that these are something which every developer should be knowing these are essentials these form the solid foundation of my career and you know uh interview is just a small aspect the real world the real thing starts just after cracking the coding interview uh because you are supposed to contribute it from day one and that is where the real struggle begins and if you're not able to do that there's no fun uh, in cracking the interview so it should not be like this questions i have done uh, i have done and i'm done and dusted my interviews done and now i'm going to do something completely different of course we are nobody is going to ask us to do a binary search question in our day-to-day -day life but essentially what happens is the more and more we equip ourselves by solving these questions we we develop a certain mindset um, which helps us in solving problems more creatively and more effectively 
and it, it develops a completely new perspective so to say so when we do that it it will eventually help us at the end of the day as developers to contribute even more effectively during our work so that is the endeavor of this channel for the long term i want to put out such content uh, where i don't want to put out like 400 500 coding interview questions and i will just say some clickbait title that okay uh, you're going to crack this uh, interview by doing this and this question that is not the thing i want to focus more on the quality of the content than the quantity and i want people to read between the lines of every question to identify patterns in questions and in that way form a holistic problem solving attitude towards every question so that in the longer term if we have to sustain in this longer race we have to understand every pattern everything that is going in and around the industry how the data structure algorithms things are working internally uh, what can be what can be the takeaways for us from all of that so there's a lot of things which i have in my mind that is what in in a nutshell i wanted to talk about that this channel is not just uh, geared towards uh, solving interview questions like the name of the channel suggests i want people to be able to code to be able to solve problems easily so i want to simplify this entire process of uh, you know problem solving so to say by bringing out the right content right um, focused and useful content to people who are not just uh, preparing for interview but every every day software engineer every average joe software engineer also who wants to level up their skills and want to become more effective uh, developer so that is the long term goal of this channel i do have a philosophy called less is more i don't want people to burn out by solving hundreds and thousands of questions while preparing for interview i just want them to solve maybe a limited number of question but the thought process and uh, the thinking ability that they are going to develop out of solving that many number of questions is going to be a asset for lifetime not just for cracking in an interview but that is something which they are going to carry forward uh, throughout their entire career so that kind of uh, so that kind of thought process i want to build over time for all the audience uh, who are software engineers currently who are working or maybe who are already aspiring to crack a company a big tech company or something so that is why i just wanted to have this session today to summarize on the kind of content i am trying to bring out which is useful super focused and quality content which people can make use of while doing their dsa preparation as well and also you know to equip all the software engineers out there uh, so that they can more creatively and effectively solve the real world problems at scale so thank you so much for watching to this session and more importantly if you want to support me in this journey please subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts or any feedback to share on this thank you so much